Well, ladies and gentlemen, what's an update on uh, the Alien TV series? A little bit of backstory, I guess, from Noah Hawley himself. This is the chap who is uh, working on this, and uh, this is an article, or at least it, it's, it's an in-depth interview from The Hollywood Reporter, which you can see here, uh, but condensed down here, where he discusses his version of the TV series, and he also reveals how involved Ridley Scott is, because a lot of people are worried uh, about Ridley Scott being that involved, which is, I think, completely justified, given the track record at this point in time for Ridley Scott on Alien stuff. Now, that's not discussing his other uh, films, but just Alien. You know, people were left disenfranchised by Alien Covenant and Prometheus. So it's fair to be apprehensive about Ridley Scott's involvement uh, in, you know, anything Alien moving forwards. But look, I, we'll get to it. Hit subscribe if you're new here, turn the bell notifications on, and please do share this video, get it out there, beat this bizarre YouTube algorithm that is in place at the moment, uh, that seems to be neutering channels, it's quite frustrating. But hey, let's get you up to date on all things alien, shall we? So there was, a, there was a, this wide-ranging interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Hawley went on to explain why joining the Alien franchise appealed to him more than him making Star Trek 4, which was something he was attached to at a certain point in time. So, this is interesting, because I guess it goes to show why why he wanted to do it, what his association is, uh, and that should give you a flavour uh, of things to come, and whether he can be trusted, I guess. So he said this, When you find the right partner, and they ask, Do you want to do Alien? Which is a hugely valuable franchise to this company, it's, do you want to do your version of Alien? It's a very different conversation. What I found with Star Trek was I got onto the runway, and then there was a managerial changeover. In retrospect, it's not that they killed the movie. It's that I got as far as I did with a wholly original idea, until someone said, well, wait a minute, what are we even doing with this valuable IP? Just giving it to him to make up a story? That's not how corporate filmmaking works. So if the call came in to do a big franchise film again, it would have to come with a sense of we want to do we want you, sorry, to do your version of it. So that I think is actually quite fascinating because it's twofold. It reveals what went on behind the scenes with Star Trek and why that fell apart. Which makes a lot of sense because of course, with respect to Star Trek, you know, we heard lots of rumours about that. We heard a ton of rumours. So many people were involved. There were so many cooks in that kitchen. It was crazy. But he... The implication behind what he's saying is he was literally given the keys to the castle. And it was, you do what you want, mate. You do what you want with Alien. Now, based off of Fargo and his previous works, I actually think that's a really good indication of things to come because Noah Hawley is actually very very good genuinely I think he's great so I think that's actually very positive and we have heard some stuff about this you know we know that there's a, a prodigy corporation it's another mega corporation on earth we know that Wayland yutani has a part to play in it in fact a Wayland yutani ship crash lands on earth containing aliens and Prodigy Corporation go and seize it. We know that Prodigy Corporation is experimenting with transplanting consciousness into synthetic bodies. So there's a lot of interesting elements here. So, yeah, I think Noah Hawley's the right man for the job. But anyway, uh, he was asked what the biggest challenges of making his version of Alien has been, and Hawley explained that a series of different regimes was the main hurdle to overcome. Which makes sense. You know, he was working on it uh, previous to the Disney takeover of 20th Century Fox. Sorry, just to clarify. And 20, then 20th Century Fox got sold to Disney. Disney's on board now. They're, they obviously segmented 20th Century Fox down into, well, in, into whatever it is now, 20th Century Studios, I think. So, you know, what he's saying is, is perfectly reasonable, but still interesting nonetheless. 
So, on to Ridley Scott's involvement with the project. Eh. Uh, apparently a lot of conversation have taken place. Um, but apparently, they didn't really amount to too much, which I think is good. So he says the following. I mean, are the Coens involved in Fargo? Let's just say I've probably had more conversations with Ridley than I've had with Joel and Ethan. Scott Free Productions is producing Alien, and Ridley is making two or three movies a year, is basically how that's working. I mean, Ridley has been an amazing collaborator to the degree that I can pick his brain about all of his thoughts, processes, decisions, and the things that he's learned. And I try to keep him in the loop and send him material so that he's he feels respected and included, but also he's doing his thing. That is good. That is very good news to anyone that was concerned about Ridley Scott's involvement. So, uh, th there's been an interesting point of conversation uh, on my podcast, the HCast, about Ridley Scott's involvement in Alien. And it does seem to be that he seems to have some, some kind of rights deal in place. Now, he doesn't own the rights. He didn't make Alien, right? Just, just to outline this and clarify for everyone that seems to be confused. He just directed it. He didn't write it. He was brought on actually at the last minute. He was brought on to direct what 20th Century Fox thought was a B-movie at the time. Uh, he was influential in some choices, but not the ones that you would think of. And it's important to clarify those things. So he technically isn't the creator of Alien. He actually doesn't own the rights. But I think he has bought the producing rights to Alien. And I think this is why he's involved in every single product and why they do come uh, in periodic moments in time as a rights retainer. So, anyway, I think that's why he's involved, essentially, as a producer. But it's good. You know, he's literally saying, well, look, the Coens weren't involved in Fargo, and this is the same situation. I can call up Ridley Scott, though, and I can have a conversation with him. I can have a conversation about things that he's learned, some choices he made in the past, and realistically, I'd do it to keep him in, in the loop and make him feel respected because he is also uh, one of the producers on. So I think, I, think that, I think that bodes really well. So a lot of this is very positive to me. In fact, there's nothing that's negative. This is all very, very positive. Diddly Squat is not that involved, which is great. Again, the apprehension about him being involved in Alien moving forwards is more than justified. There'll be a load of people that will go, you just hate really... No, it's not about that. He's a fantastic director. He's a fantastic cinematographer. But his choices for Alien have been lacking. And I think that's a justified statement. Uh, and I think it's good, you know, this this situation of him literally being just given the keys to the castle. Do what you want to do. You do you. He's made some fantastic stuff as Noah Hawley. So this is great news. Drop your thoughts down below, though. Cheers. Take care. Bye-bye now.